What up, what up everybody? So I got this two cases here. They're bakery cake cases. They are not working. Did you see that one? Okay, and then also, did you see that one? Now, I've already gotten some of the work done. Well, not really, some of the diagnosis. I just now uncovered this and said to myself, man, I better pull out the damn phone and start making a video for you guys. So this is pretty freaking icy. I'll tell you what. Oh, we got a valve down there. Let's uh, expose this valve and close it, huh? You can see right there just how damn thick. Freaking ice is. The ice has my damn bottom covers held down. All right, so. God damn. There's my hand valve. Oh, I thought that was uh, insulation. That's actually ice. All right, so you guys, there's a lot going on here, okay? First of all, the drain is plugged. This has been freezing up like this for at least a month or two. Ice does not form. All that ice doesn't form in like a couple of days. It takes weeks, months, maybe like multiple months to make that much ice like that. Anyways, we've got we've got a plug drain inside of the evaporator shroud. Yeah, shroud. I believe it looks like this one is screwed down. That's what it is, is, it's just, overall, we can chunk it down to one thing overall, one thing. And that is, lack of maintenance. That's what this is. This is a severe case of lack of maintenance, and when you neglect your shit like this for so long, you can expect stuff like this to happen. Okay. You need to tell your customers that. Or you can not tell them that and you get service calls. Which is good. If that's what you want. I mean, who doesn't want that, right? That'd be crazy. To not want that. I have closed the valve, you guys, and I'm gonna let this thing thaw out overnight. I uh, ain't gonna fuck with it today. I'm gonna thaw it out overnight, and then tomorrow I'll be with it. I am gonna gonna get this up though. I am gonna wedge this thing up. So, but I don't have my tools on. So that's this one. We got two of them here. Lines that go up that. Now, this one over here, the condenser fans aren't running. So our liquid line is getting super hot. I was just up on the roof a few minutes ago. Uh, yup. So that's why this one's not running. So there's my two rooftop condensers for those cake cake units one's frozen and one is medium i think i'm not i'm not sure this is one short cycling or no not yeah short cycling because the fan's not starting so we either have a bad fan or we got a bad fan switch if it even has a fan switch probably does yeah i think so switch 
So it just clicked on as soon as I as soon as I stopped the damn video it clicked on so yeah we got two fans neither one of them running looks like it's gonna be these ones right here these wires I gotta have to pull the top off okay so number one we've got this that certainly doesn't help anything at all okay yeah that doesn't help and this one yeah that motor is is seized I think that's what I believe it is seized hmm Oh, we got one, the one that was messed up with the freaking, uh, with the freaking, what you call it, the bag that was jumbled up. Come on. Go, bitch, go, bitch, go. Didn't want to go. That motor's done. That one still works. Probably not very good, though. And then this stupid thing is short cycling for some reason. Thing's supposed to be defrosting right now. Come on. I don't like short cycles. They're no good. They're really not. Okay. It is fucking hot up here, you guys. This coil's dirty. It needs to be washed, but I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to be able to get water up here. Because I had to leave my damn hoses at another place because it's so hot that we had to leave water hoses on the condensers. So, hmm. Oh, no, man. Sprinklers on the condensers. That's what I meant. Sprinklers. Okay, so I might have a, a, a motor for this thing. What are they? What kind of motors? What does it say here? 115 horsepower. Okay. Let's go see. Also, while I'm doing all that other stuff, I'm working and monitoring on this rack. This rack we got, um, it's not doing the greatest. This contact is not working very well. It chatters on startup. This thing right here, um, it's, it's faulting on oil. I think it's oil. Uh, yeah, lube protect control. I gotta hit that button, but when I hit that button, this stupid thing chatters and it doesn't start. It fails to start. But I can push it with a screwdriver and push the button at the same time and it starts nice. Meanwhile, the oil level in there, it stays full. So learning I am on this one, but that's, I got that going on um, on the back burner. Not making a video about that one right now. We're doing the uh, cake cases on the north corner of the store. All right, I think that's what these are. I said this, I'm gonna have to use this one probably because this one is my reversible one. And then I got something else. That's a, oh, that's an evaporator fan. Yeah, that doesn't go there. Uh, this one also, I don't think it's gonna go and what I'm doing, yeah, 115 volt, that doesn't work. This one, 12EM1123X, that's the universal. Remember that number. It's reversible, you can do 208, 230. Uh, it's fantastic. So I'm gonna actually do my wiring up in my cold truck instead of doing it on that hot ass roof. So I wanna go with 240 is my voltage. Pretty sure of that. So in order to do that, you got a bundle of wires. Most of y'all probably know how to do this, but those of you who don't, this is helpful stuff. So you got your 
you got your five wires right there okay then you go orange is going to go to one side of your power then black and red you can put a wire nut on you can, you can go time together like that okay so black and red's done and then next you go white wires to the other side of power yellow wire gets a wire nut by itself so that's my setup right there for my 240 or 230 volt application let's double check let's see got them over here pull them around and we got four for 240 volt motor we're gonna go orange here is gonna go to my power one side of my contactor okay then I got black and red will be insulated together black and red then I got white is gonna go to my other line of the contactor so that's ready and then I got yellow is gonna be insulated so that's the setup for two, 230 well, no, these are my reversing wires. Well, you should know. If you're doing this kind of stuff, you should know. These are your reversing wires. Uh-huh. So, I believe I found everything, tools that I need, except for my freaking one-eighth of an inch Allen wrench. So, I'm probably going to have to bring this motor and blade down so I can find the Allen wrench to get it off. Oh wow, look at that. It started up and it's it's running. That's cool. Maybe that case is uh, starting to freeze. I guess we'll go find out in a minute. Oh, and by the way, for those of you who have not figured this out yet, if you go to United or your supply house and you get these for your truck stock, whether you want to use them or not, I mean, you, you could always use them temporarily, you know? But guess what? They come with a 1-8... Allen wrench, which is one of the most common tools that we'll be using on our fan blades out here in the refrigeration industry. Not so much rack refrigeration, but every single one of these comes with one. So I recommend that you guys go load up on truck stock and get three of these and then three of the BPV 20 ones, which is the bigger ones. Yep. Okay, so back to this thing. It's actually started draining. It had no choice but to uh, but to drain some. So you know, that's good, I guess. Phew! Talk about filthy McCasty. <laughs> All right, so I was saying earlier we got some glues right here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Strip. Yeah. It's going in the trash. Here we go. This is what I want y'all to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tsunami. Yeah, tsunami of filth. Maybe I'll be able to get both of these, these cases done today and get this ticket closed. That'd be nice, huh? 
Mm, yeah, I don't have to come back tomorrow. I ain't even on call this weekend, y'all. Crazy. Gotta be careful. Gotta make sure not to not to beat up on the copper. Woo! Yeah, you gotta watch it. You got to watch it. If you just take out like little 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 chips of the ice, you gotta make sure you don't aim for the copper. This is just a little split system though. If we were to blow this charge, it would only be a little bit. It'd be done in like a minute or two. Let that one fall a little more. I bet you this coil is so filthy, guys. I probably won't be able to close it today just because how filthy this damn coil is going to be. Try this one at your own peril. You have been warned. Now, you know guys, I better just let this one thaw over here. Yeah. I'm gonna just let that one thaw. Alright, so I got a bad motor here. That's definitely the, the cause of the freeze up. Could be filthy coil cause of the freeze up too, but I'm gonna go with the motor for now. Look at the filth. Fucking old motors, dude. But they're ECM. That's what they were back in the day. ECM. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I need a. Uh, uh, the hell is this thing, anyways? Okay. Let's see. What is this thing? Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna tell me, huh? All right. So shaft end, counterclockwise shaft end is what I need. All right, so I said counterclockwise shaft end, right? So that would be clockwise opposite shaft end. Right? I think so. Counterclockwise shaft end would be clockwise opposite shaft end. I think so. Well, you know, there's only one way to find out, yo.
That's right. Yep, that's right. This is fucking gross, y'all. Go wash my hands when I'm done. I should really have gloves on for this. It's disgusting. Happy birthday, huh? Yeah, here. Got 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 you. Got you right here. Happy birthday, que no que no. Alright, hurry up and get this shit done so I can get the hell out of here. I have had it for spending my Sunday at this place. I do not want to be here no more. No more. I'm ready to go. So you got your three. It only goes on really one way. You got three, three posts, triangle right there. You can't make a triangle here because there's no post here. You see? Only one way it goes on, triangle. You can't do it from here because there's no post here. Or not post, whatever. I'm tired of being here. Okay, sorry I didn't record all the, all of the, uh, motor replacement part, but too much to have to try to do. But I told you guys, I told you this coil was filthy. Look at that. That's freaking horrible. Washington today. Nope. I'm not doing it. Mm hmm. Mm, don't know if I'll be able to do this by hand with my fingers. Oh, I got it. Cool.
There's my eighth inch. It's really hard to get that in there. But as you can see, I try. So this is the old one, trying to get the old one off. And at this point, I didn't have my sandpaper, any sandpaper with me. I didn't feel like walking back to the truck. And it's really hard holding the camera while I'm trying to do this. It's like impossible. So once I finagled it off, the screw loose, um, this damn blade didn't want to come off because there's a little, that tiny little bit of rust build up on the end of the shaft it will hold you back. It will hold you back. So your best bet, if you don't have sandpaper and you're in this situation, is to push the blade back down, like that. Push the blade back down, and that's my trick. Get some oil. So what, it's dirty, it's filthy, it's an old trashy shaft, doesn't matter. And then, the son of a bitch will come off. You see? And I did all that one-handed too, keep that in mind. One-handed, holding the camera in the other. across this hot ass roof over in damn condensers phones only got seven percent you guys so i would li have liked to have gotten more details and footage on the mounting of the blade but uh you're gonna get what you get aha rotation's perfect now we got both fans going now this thing's gonna run all right all right all right Alright, so I'm wrapping it up here, you guys. This one is, is getting there. They need to throw all this shit away, though. It's got, like... It's got mold, spots of mold on it, you see? Mold spots. They need to throw it away before somebody ends up buying it. Anyways, um... So with this, I'm gonna fill out my paperwork and do all that stuff, and then right before I end up leaving, I'm gonna go up there, and I'm gonna hit the disconnect, turn it on. I think it'll be fine by then. Because I'm not going to leave this open. I'm just going to go ahead and close this ticket up and be done with it. Anyways, that's going to be it. Appreciate y'all watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you get anything useful out of the content. I appreciate all y'all watching and supporting. Alright, this is the last thing I'm doing here. And then I get to go home on Sunday. Let's see. Come on, come on. All right, sight glass just cleared. Both fans are running. That's what I'm talking about. And here, I got both fans running on this one too. This job is complete. Thanks for watching, y'all. I appreciate it. Like and subscribe, and I'll keep making more. Peace.